Hey, what's up? It's Ben here. Investing in the stock market is not that hard and you can start with any investing platform. But today I'm going to be showing you how to open a Weibo account on desktop step by step and also help you get two free stock while you're at it just by using the link below and funding your account. And one of the stock could be valued up to $1,400. I mean, it's basically free money for you to grab. If you don't like it, sell it and cash out and invest in something else. If you want to know how to open a Weibo account on your phone instead, I have a video on that as well. Link is in the description if you want to check that out. And for those who already created an account on their phone, you can simply go on the website and log in. There's no setup required. And the reason why you might want to use the desktop version instead of the app is because the tools look way better on the desktop. Plus, you'll be able to see more on a bigger screen. So to begin, you can simply click on the link below and I'll hop on the screen with you. It'll take you to the Weibo page and it'll also start the process of helping you secure your two free stocks. You'll then come to your page that looks something like this. All you have to do is click open an account. Next, you can sign up with email or mobile. Today, I'm going to be signing up my brother since I already have an account with Weibo. And when you hit get code, they'll send you a verification code just to make sure you're legit and you'll just have to enter it there. Once that's done, you click sign up. Then you'll be greeted by a thank you page and it'll ask you to open an account to get your first free stock. You'll click on open an account. Next, you'll be taken to the application page where you'll be filling out your information like the basic things such as uh, your first name, last name, gender, date of birth, marital status, number of dependents, social security number, citizenship, phone number, and of course your residential address. Once that's done, you hit continue. Then it'll ask for employment information. Go ahead and fill that out. I'm going to have to blur this one out since he probably doesn't want to share the information to everyone. Then click continue. And you'll be taken to a page where they'll ask some basic investment information to understand you a little bit more, such as how much uh, investment experience do you have? Uh, let's see, just go not much here. What's your overall investment objective? Hmm, growth, okay, go ahead and uh, click that. How long do you plan to invest your money? Uh, seven or more years. So go. The global stock market is often volatile. If your entire investment portfolio lost 10% of its value in a month during a market decline, what would you do? Uh, so keep all and buy more. So there you go. So scrolling down, we have financial information. So how important is liquidity to you? So I'm gonna head and click somewhat important. What is your approximate uh, yearly income. So I'm going to head and select that. What is your approximate total net worth? Uh, let's go ahead and select that. What is the approximate total value of your cash and liquid investments? Then click continue. You'll now have to verify yourself. He's going to choose driver's license, then upload the photo ID, then continue. The next page will ask for some regulatory information. Most of them probably won't apply to you, but go over that and double check the ones that do, then hit continue. It'll bring up the declaration page and then hit I agree once you've gone over it. Now it's time to choose your account type. What you want to choose is the cash account to get started. This is because I'm assuming you're just starting off and or you're a beginner. Margin accounts are risky if you don't know what you're doing. Basically, it's getting loans to trade. So you're better off just choosing the cash account, meaning you're using your own money. Then hit continue. Go ahead and read the agreements and disclosures, then sign your name. and hit agree. Verify your email one last time. And once that looks good, hit submit. Now it says new account will normally be approved within one to two business days. Once the application is approved, we will notify you with email. So we ended up waiting a few hours and he got approved real quick. And here's how to deposit money to your account to get the second free stock. When you sign in, you'll want to go to my account and click on deposit. 
we just use real-time verification for the bank account. Then scroll down and hit continue. Fill in your bank login information and once that's done, you can input the amount you want to transfer to your Webull account. He transferred $100 just so he can get the second free stock. Then click on confirm again and you're all done. It says your deposit will be completed within five business days, but the funds were already transferred into the account less than two days. And now you can start trading. Oh, by the way, here's the two free stocks he got. It's easier to open them if you're on mobile, but since you're on desktop, you have to click on uh, the help menu and click on track my free stocks and you'll be taken here and you'll have to click on tap me. Then you'll see two stocks that's unclaimed. You click on that, then you click on the big get button to get your free stocks. So he got SAN, which is worth $2.07, which you could probably go buy a McChicken at McDonald's if you want to cash out or just reinvest it into something else. The next stock he got was SNAP, which is Snapchat for about $13. I mean, it's not bad. It's enough for lunch. So there you have it. In just a few condensed minutes, you can set up your Weibo account on your desktop. Make sure to use the link below to get your two free stocks. The tools on the desktop version will definitely help you navigate stocks much easier and get a better feel for the technical indicators. In a sense, it's slightly more advanced than Robinhood and at the same time, it's user friendly. I also have the app version of this on my phone and you can check out my other videos where I use it to buy and sell stocks so I can share with you how I actually grow my portfolio. I use my real money and I actually do what I say. I believe that everyone can use money to make more money so you won't have to work so hard for it in the future. Plus, it'll definitely help out for retirement. So if you like this video, make sure to give it a like and if you want, subscribe to stay up to date on what I'm investing or hear me talk about credit cards, real estate, finance, or other money related topic. I'll catch you all later. Peace.